Sean looked like he was pretty sharp in practice today. Uh, what would you see? You know, I thought he was. He, uh, he's, he's come back just fine. He's healthy. Um, you know, we're just trying to get to some timing back on some routes, but he's been he's been really good uh, getting right back. You know, he's such a sharp guy. He's got no problems, uh, you know, knowing exactly what we're doing. Did you feel like the job was ever Cody's to win, or what's the approach that you guys took with that? You know, Cody's been in the mix really the last couple of years. Um, I think uh, really about two years ago, that injury kind of set him back a little bit. A fall camp injury for a couple of weeks. His back was bothering him, and, and it, it set him back a little bit. I think it allowed uh, Sean to get a lot of work. Uh, but we've always felt like we had two guys that can play. And um, I think Cody, the way he's played in our two wins with him as the starter, uh, has proven that. But um, you're also looking at a kid that, in Sean that earned that starting role, um, prepared for it, and, and, and the fact that he's back and healthy, we thought to uh, get him back in there. Uh, looking to the Huskies' uh, defense, you know, they've kind of struggled recently here, but what have you seen from them? You know, they have, uh, they've got a lot of talent. Uh, they've got a... They've got a active front and they've got good speed on the perimeter. Um, you know, I think they've been in some some good games with some tough opponents. You know, they've had a they've had a very difficult schedule lately. Um, you know, just with Oregon and Stanford and and, and they beat Stanford so they you, you gotta you give them some credit. Um, they've they've got a, a solid defense overall. But I think they've got you know good team speed and a lot of talent up front. Just the, you know, based on their history, like that Baylor Bowl game last year is just an offensive shootout. Yeah. I mean, uh, does it seem like that's their type of thing? Is just you're going to be able to put up some points on them? You know, I think it's a different group. Um, I, you know, that was, I think, a little bit abnormal. The, the score of that game was so, uh, you know, so high, and it was just back and forth. But this is a different group, a different coordinator. You know, they're doing some different things. Um, I think they're a um, a very sound group. I don't think you see many times where they're totally out of position and, and letting guys go free. Um, so they'll, they'll they'll line up correctly and they'll give you some different looks and they bounce in in and out of a three four and a four three. So they're they're going to be challenging that way. But uh, you know, I, I think overall we just have to be in a fi play efficiently like we've been, not turn the ball over, but but go after them a little bit too. Hit uh, hit some more deep balls and be able to run the ball better. Is that going to be kind of the key to get, like, you know, the offense kind of struggled a little against Utah, but is that kind of the thing, just getting that balance back? Yeah, absolutely. We uh, we didn't, you know, we were so bad on third down. Um, when any time you're, well, we were two of 11, I think, and and uh, we couldn't stay on the field. And so we didn't have that rhythm, and, um, and that balance was lacking. We didn't have much production in the run game. Uh, so if we can get that going, which we need to get that going, uh, we're just such a better team. And I think uh, pushing the ball down the field to our to our stars, and then being able to throw quickly on them too is is a key for us. So we got to get uh, get that going a little bit more, and uh, obviously convert third down.